I just saw it getting like dragged under the water and then just him appearing again with blood in the water and screaming. Isaac Rocha describing the horrific moments a shark bit his friend, 26-year-old Arthur Medici. At this time, I have a report of an unknown shark bite male party. The two had boogie boarded at Newcomb Beach Friday night and returned Saturday when the attack occurred. I swam to him fast as I could. I got to him. He wasn't talking anymore. I dragged him out of the water about, let's say, 35 yards. I got the boogie board strap, his boogie board strap, and tried to tie it around his leg to stop the bleeding, made a tourniquet. Off-duty lifeguards, along with beachgoers, helped perform CPR and carry Medici up the dunes, but he was pronounced dead at Cape Cod Hospital a short time later. The loss of a friend made even harder for Rocha because Medici was dating his sister. I keep the image in my head 24-7. It was really difficult to sleep last night. For my sister, it's even worse. You know, they were thinking about marriage and all that. It's horribly. Two families mourning the loss of a young man who was humble, outgoing, and loved to be in the water. We love him so much. He meant the world to us. He still means the world to us. And beaches in Wellfleet and Truro remain closed to swimming today, along with Coast Guard Beach in East Ham, which also closed for about an hour this afternoon after a plane spotter saw a shark. In Revere, Matt Reed, WMUR News 9.